moving on to Iran. Mm -hmm. Now we have serious economic and financial sanctions against that regime. Um, the United States in coalition with uh, our European partners and allies in UN. Um, what, what's your sense of how, how that kind of um, pressure is uh, affecting uh, Iran and its uh, attempts to acquire nuclear weapons, or rather uh, helping it to um, uh, curtail its yeah. program? I think it's having some effect, but I'm afraid it's not going to have sufficient effect soon enough. Uh, they seem to be bound to determine, Iran seems to be bound to determine to acquire nuclear weapons. Um, I think that that is uh, just completely unacceptable. President Obama says that. I, I hope he uh, means it um, because they would not only be a threat to uh, Israel, which is obviously a, a strong ally of the United States in the region, but they're a threat to the Saudis and a whole range of our other allies in the region. And they could be a threat to our very homeland here because they are on their way to uh, acquiring sophisticated uh, missile technology, uh, and they've been the largest uh, supporter of terrorism in the region and around the world for years. So they could get a nuclear device into the hands of some terrorist organization that could smuggle it into the United States on a boat into New York Harbor or anywhere else. So we just cannot allow Iran to go nuclear, and they seem bound to determine to do that. Would, would you counsel Israel, uh, who has talked about you know, a potential preemptive strike uh, because they're nervous about the speed with which uh, Iran is perhaps uh, working toward a nuclear weapon, would you counsel Israel to uh, let give time for sanctions to work? Uh, or uh, what, what is your view with respect to any kind of military strike? Well, that has been the Obama administration's policy thus far, to counsel the Israelis to give sanctions time to work. The question is, is that time running out? And when does it run out? Uh, now, Secretary of Defense uh, Panetta recently said that he thought we were looking at you know April, May, or something like that. So we're only a couple of months away from when uh, Obama's defense secretary said he thought Israel would, a would act. Um, and the question is, do they go it alone? Do they have our assistance, uh, either active or behind the scenes? Th those are all questions that are being hashed out right now, much of it behind the scenes. but. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, it's a very dangerous situation, and, and as well as the lo potential lives that would be lost and disruption in the re region, clearly oil prices would spike immediately, and that could have a very negative impact on, on the economy uh, very quickly. Now, hopefully it would be short term. You're talking um, about if a strike? If a strike occurred, yes, whether it was just Israel or whether the United States was involved. Of course, other critics of a preemptive strike would say, too, that the blowback uh, from such a strike, uh, the rage in the region against Israel and the United States would also be perhaps counterproductive and, and worse than if we gave time for, for sanctions to do, their, to do yeah. their work. Yeah, I don't think a strike should be taken lightly. There are ramifications. I hope diplomacy, uh, the pressure, the sanctions, those things work. Uh, the question is, will they? And we don't know yet.